इंपॉर्टेंट Where we use it? Where we use this such type of expansions? All of you know the what is the real application of such type of expansions of series a, e raised to x, cos x, tan x, sin x, log one plus x like this. So all of you know the calcium. When the calcium is putting the values of e raised to one is something two point something like this. So in this calcium, we fit all these these expansions up to n term or <coughs> term. So using this, uh, we get the all approximate values of all the Ex, uh, expands all the functions in calculators in scientific calc. So this such type of expansion is fitting in this. So here we find out the today's for today's this uh, videos find out the expansion of suppose a for x is equal to log of one plus x. Clear. Yeah, so function is one plus x. So this a for x is one plus x. Obviously we using Maclaurin theorem. So I'm writing the Maclaurin theorem. You first repeat the Question is find the expansion of this f of x could log one plus x. So how to find out this using this Maclaurin theorem? So what is Maclaurin theorem? There is says that f of x is the function of x which is expanded can be expanded as a new power of x and this expansion differentiable term by term then like this f of x is equal to f of zero plus x upon one factor double to f dash of zero x square by two factor double dash of zero and so on. So if you putting the value of f of zero, f dash of zero, double dash of zero, triple dash of zero in this statement, then we get the expansion of the given function. So how to find out this? We just f of zero means put x is equal to zero, variable is equal to zero, we get f of zero. F dash of zero means find the first derivative, putting the value, so we get the f dash of zero. If double dash means find second derivative, putting the value of variable x is equal to zero, we get the double dash like this. So To find the expansion of this log one plus x, first we want to find out the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative, up to maximum fourth or fifth derivative, or maximum you go it is six seven like this. So first we find out the first derivative here. So f dash of x. So derivative of f of x is f dash of x, but here is log one plus x. We know the derivative of log x. Log x is One by x, the derivative of x is one, so it is one by x. So the here here log log means one upon one plus x. Log function divided by x, and the derivative of this one plus x is derivative of one is zero and x is one. So into one, we will not write here. We will not write here. We will not write here. Also, we write down this as like this: one plus x raised to minus one. So this is the value of. F dash of x. So we find out the f double dash of x. So derivative, either you find here or here, same. So it is a one plus x raised to minus one. So it is a polynomial. So in this case, first power multiply, power decreases by one. So minus one minus one become minus two, and derivative of one plus x is one. So one as it is. So this is the second derivative. Now move towards also we write down this as like this. Minus one upon one plus x bracket square. Same meaning is there. Clear? Now the next again third derivative. I just go fastly. This power multiply. So it is minus one into minus one minus two become plus two. Power decreases by one. So it is minus three. Clear? And derivative of one plus x is again one. Same. You have double. You have four derivative of x. So again, this minus three multiplied. So minus two into minus three become minus six. One plus x raised to power decreases by one. So it is raised to minus four. And derivative of one plus x is one again. Now here the fifth derivative of x. Again, this minus four multiplied to minus six. Minus minus become plus. So plus twenty four minus six into minus four. And this power decreases by one. Raised to minus five. And derivative of one plus x is one again. So therefore, we write down this as this way or in divide also. This two upon one plus x cube, one plus x raised to bracket cube minus six upon one plus x raised to minus four. So or so we want to find out. This means these are the derivatives, but you want to find out the 
derivative to at x is equal to 0 so just here look at it is f of 0 means what you are doing we put in x is equal to 0 x ki value 0 put karo dekho kya aa raha hai so log 1 plus 0 is log 1 and log 1 we know which is 0 so the value of log 1 is 0 we know because log 10 is 1 so therefore next similarly we have double dash of 0 we have double dash of 0 so this is f dash so put x equal to 0 either yahan pe put karo ya yahan pe put karo kuch farak padne wala nahi hai so it is 1 plus 0 raised to minus 1 which is 1 raised to minus 1 is 1 again clear 1 raised to minus 1 is 1 again so therefore here is you have double dash of 0 either putting here or either putting here both may same so it is minus 1 upon 1 plus 0 bracket square so it is minus 1 how 1 plus 0 is 1 1 square is 1 so minus 1 upon 1 is minus 1 next similarly you have triple dash of 0 again this 2 into 1 plus 0 raised to minus 3 so this become 2 clear here is again a fourth 0 it is minus 6 into 1 plus 0 raised to minus 4 so it is simply minus 6 similarly here the fifth derivative of 0 is again 24 1 plus 0 raised to minus 5 so it is 24 clear so and so on next value I give 24 into minus 5 is 1 minus 120 like this so similarly you put in this value and this theorem and this statement of Maclaurian theorem so we get here look at this what is our function f of x is f of x is log of 1 plus x clear f of x is log of 1 plus x is a given now f of 0 what is the value of f of 0 f of 0 is 0 now x upon 1 factorial f dash of 0 f dash of 0 in this case is 1 plus x square by 2 factorial f double dash of 0 f double dash of 0 is minus 1 clear now the next x cube by 3 factorial f triple dash of 0 f triple dash of 0 is 2 clear now x raised to 4 by 4 factorial f4 derivative is minus 6 f4 derivative at 0 is minus 6 plus x raised to 5 by 5 f5 derivative is f5 derivative is 24 at x is equal to 0 so therefore it is simply simplified it is 0 0 is 0 you want to write it so your x upon 1 factorial plus this is minus this minus sign minus x square upon 2 factorial here is plus 2x cube upon 3 factorial clear now I am just write down this factorial in factorial in directly values so it is very simple or one step in so 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial is 6 3 factorial is 6 plus here so in order plus it is a minus because it is a minus 6 so minus 6 x raised to 4 upon 4 factorial is 24 next plus 24 x raised to 5 5 factorial is 120 and so on clear so therefore here just simplify this is our log x so x by 1 is x x square by 2 clear next 2 and is 3 so it is plus x cube by 3 next 6 and this is a 4 6 or 24 is divide kya 6 is or 4 is there so x raised to 4 by 4 plus 24 and 120 it is 5 clear so therefore x raised to 5 by 5 next step i get x raised to 6 by 6 and so on so this is the expansion of log of 1 plus x clear yeah? now using the again must smart word find out the expansion of log of 1 plus x so log of 1 plus x simply what is difference between log of 1 plus x and log of 1 minus x using this 
using this expansion, we have to find out the expansion log 1 minus x. So, log 1 minus x, what happened? We replace x by minus x. So, therefore, log 1 minus x. What happened? What is the difference? Log 1 plus x, log 1 minus x, replace x by minus. So, I am taking here is a minus x, x become minus x. This minus as it is, minus x square by 2 plus this minus x cube by 3 plus x raised to 4 by minus x raised to 4 by 4 plus minus x raised to 5 by 5 minus minus x raised to 6 by 6 and so on. Just simplify it. This minus x, this minus, but minus x ka square, minus ka square plus, so therefore it is x square by 2. Next, this minus x cube, minus ka cube is minus x cube by 3. Then it is minus x raised to 4 by 4, minus x raised to 5 by 5 and so on. This is the expansion of log 1 minus x. Here, using these two expansions, log 1 plus x and log 1 minus x, we also find out the expansion of this 1 upon 1 plus x raised to minus 1, also 1 upon 1 plus x is same, and 1 minus x raised to minus 1, that is 1 plus 1 minus x, this expansion, I simply differentiate these two expansions. Well, derivative of log 1 plus x? Derivative of log 1 plus x is 1 upon 1 plus x. So, differentiate are also like right as the previous videos. And this is also a derivative of this. Just this minus sign gets cancelled everywhere. And we get the expansion. So, using this, we get the expansion here. It is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x raised to 4 minus x raised to 5 and so on. And here we get 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to 4 and so on. These two expansions we get using the derivative. Here yeah, using the derivative question in mind. Here we have plus case hai. Because we take the derivative of this. Derivative is 1, up, 1 upon 1 minus x into minus 1. Here minus 1 or here minus are cancel only. So we get this expansion. So this two expansion using this first. Yeah. So this is our expansion. Remaining is binomial. You just please, I request all of you, try the expansion of binomial means 1 plus x raised to and this is our f of x. So simply follow the tape means find out the f of 0, f dash of 0, double dash 0, putting the value, we get the binomial expansion. So I hope so all of you understand this Maclaurian theorem to find the exponential expansion of all such type of functions. Also I request all of you or I say directly there is a any function f of x just follow this first derivative to second derivative third derivative to and putting this value at x equal to 0 here we get the expansion of such functions. So thank you. Thank you so much.